In this video, we're going to talk about the dividend yield. But let's first talk about how investors use a dividend yield to determine how much they want to invest in a stock. So let's say the annual dividend yield, I'm going to use DY to represent that. Let's say that it's 5%. So what does that tell us? Well, if we decide to buy $100 worth of stock in this company, let's say it's company ABC, we're going to earn 5% of that money per year. 5% of 100 is $5. So the company is going to pay us $5 in dividends each year. Now, if we decide to invest $1,000 in this stock at a 5% dividend yield, we're going to earn 5% of 1,000. And to get that answer, it's just 1,000 times 5%. 5% as a decimal, if you divide it by 100, you get 0 0.05. So 1,000 times 0 0.05 is 50. So every year, this company is going to pay us $50, assuming the dividend yield remains the same. If we decide to invest 10,000 at the same dividend yield, we're going to receive $500 per year if everything remains constant. So that's what the dividend yield tells you. But now, how do we calculate the annual dividend yield. The dividend yield can be calculated using this formula. It's the annual dividend divided by the current stock price times 100%. So let's use an example. Let's say if a company pays an annual dividend of $4. And let's say the current stock price is $100. So what you'll do is you'll take 4 divided by 100, and that's going to give you 0 0.04. And then you multiply that by 100%, that will give you 4%. So that's how you can calculate the dividend yield of a stock. Now let's talk about the relationship between the annual dividend and the dividend yield. I'm going to write AD to represent the annual dividend. As the annual dividend goes up, the dividend yield also goes up. So there's a direct relationship between the two. Now, as the annual dividend goes down, the dividend yield also decreases. Now, the relationship between the stock price and the dividend yield, it's an inverse relationship. As the price of the stock increases, the dividend yield decreases. Now as the price of the stock decreases, the dividend yield will increase. And so you could see that inverse relationship. When one goes up, the other goes down. So therefore, if you're invested in dividend stocks, it makes sense to buy low, sell high. Because if you choose to buy good dividend stocks when the price is low, you're going to earn a higher dividend yield if you want to hold on to the stock. But it's always good to buy good stocks when the price is low. You're going to earn a higher dividend rate. Now let's work on some example problems that will help us understand what we've just learned. Number one, company XYZ pays an annual dividend of $1. Its current stock price is $20. Part A, calculate the dividend yield. So we know that the dividend yield is going to be the annual dividend divided by the current stock price times 100%. The annual dividend is a dollar. The current stock price is $20. So if we take our calculating device and take 1 divided by 20, that's going to give us 0 0.05. And if we multiply that by 100%, this will give us a dividend yield of 5%. Now let's move on to part B. If the stock price increases to $50, what is the new dividend yield, assuming the annual dividend remains constant? So the annual dividend is still going to be a dollar. The new stock price is $50, and then times 100%. So if we take $1 and divide it by $50, that's going to be 
and then 0 0.02 times 100%, that will give us a dividend yield of 2%. So notice what happened as the price of the stock increased. As it went up from 20 to 50, let me just write this down. So as it increased from 20 to 50, the dividend yield decreased from 5% to 2%. So as we could see, when the price of the stock goes up, the dividend yield goes down. Now let's move on to part C. What if the stock price drops to $10? What is the new dividend yield? Let's use the same formula. So the annual dividend is still the same. It's $1. But now the stock price is $10. So if we take 1 and divide it by 10, that's going to give us 0.1. And then 0.1 times 100%, that's going to be 10%. So that is the new dividend yield. It's a lot higher than what it was before. So notice what happened. As the price of the stock decreased from $20 to $10, so it decreased by a factor of two, it was cut in half, the dividend yield increased from 5% to 10%. So as we could see the, the inverse relationship here, as the price of the stock decreases, the dividend yield increases. So we decrease the price of the stock by a factor of two. We cut it in half. The dividend yield increased by a factor of two. It was multiplied by two. Now, let's move on to our next example problem. Number two, company ABC pays a quarterly dividend of 50 cents. Its current stock price is $50. What is the dividend yield of this company? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. But now let's focus on the expression quarterly dividend. What does that mean? What is that telling us? Well, we know that there's four quarters in a dollar. But on an annual basis, this means that this company is going to pay this dividend four times a year when you hear the word quarterly associated with four. So if it pays this dividend four times a year, what is the annual dividend? The annual dividend is going to be the quarterly dividend of 50 cents times four. Every three months, you're going to get paid 50 cents for each share of stock that you own. So 50 cents times four that's going to give you $2. So now that we know the annual dividend, we can calculate the dividend yield. So it's going to be the annual dividend divided by the current stock price times 100%. So that's going to be an annual dividend of $2. The current stock price is $50. And 2 divided by 50, that's 0.04. Multiply that by 100%, this gives us a dividend yield of 4%. So that's it for part A. Now, part B. If an investor, actually, before we move on to part B, let's say if the company paid us a monthly dividend. Let's say the monthly dividend was 20 cents. What would be the dividend yield, assuming that the stock price is still 50? Go ahead and try that. So first you need to calculate the annual dividend. There's 12 months in a year. So the annual dividend will be 20 cents times 12. And so the annual dividend will be $2.40. And now you can calculate the dividend yield. It's going to be the annual dividend, 240 divided by the current stock price, which is $50 times 100%. So 2.4 over 50, that's 0 0.048 times 100%. The dividend yield here would be 4.8%. So 
So that's how you can calculate the dividend yield if you know the monthly dividend. But now going to part B, it says, if an investor buys $10,000 worth of stock, how much money does he expect to earn annually in dividends, assuming the stock price and annual dividend remains constant? Now we're going to base our answer based on the dividend yield in part A, 4%. Go ahead and try part B. So let's begin. All we need to do is find out what 4% of 10,000 is. What is 4% of 10,000? So all you need to do is take 10,000 and multiply it by 4% in the form of a decimal. To convert a percentage into a decimal, divided by 100. 4 divided by 100 is 0 0.04. And so 10,000 times 0 0.04 will give us $400. So every year, this investor expects to earn $400 in annual dividends assuming that the stock price and the annual dividend remains the same because those things can change. The stock can go up in price, it can go down in price. The annual dividend, that could change. The company could increase its annual dividend or sometimes they could decrease it if, you know, the market is bad. So those things could always change and you always want to keep that in mind. But that's it for this video. So if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks again for watching.